channel. Today I have a monthly September message for all of you Sagittariuses out in the collective. Please note this is going to be a general reading so it's not going to resonate with every single Sagittarius out in the collective. I ask that you take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Eileen Into Spirit. My name is Eileen Rouse. I'm a psychic intuitive and a spiritual essence coach and I provide you with guidance, wisdom, and inspiration every other week right here on this channel. Without further ado, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and dive right into your monthly message. All right, Sagittarius, you know the drill, so let's get shuffling. Remember that the first card that we draw is going to represent where you currently are. You are at the chariot. So I want to point out that I feel that whatever you do this month, it is going to move very rapidly for you, and you are going to experience a lot of victory. Here's the thing. The chariot really truly represents um, our own willpower, our own, you know, uh, will to move things um, or be the, the one thing. It's sort of like willing ourselves to do something that we know ultimately is going to be for the, for it's going to be better for us no matter what. Now your theme is the three of pentacles in reverse. So what I want to point out is that this month, your theme is really going to be about collaborating with uh, other individuals um, or building a community, working towards something that is going to build around a community or other individuals, something that's going to benefit other individuals. I feel this is going to be an area that is going to be a little bit of a challenge for you because it is reversed. So I feel like you might actually be struggling with um, an idea that you're wanting to create something, but you can't find individuals who are willing to either A, collaborate with you, or B, you're wanting to do this all on your own instead of asking for the help that you need. Now, what are you accomplishing? Let's see. What are you accomplishing this month? Sagittarius. We move like right away. Okay, you've got justice and the magician. Okay. So here is what I here's what I'm hearing, Saggy, said my little Sages here. Okay. I feel that because you've got a lot of desire and a lot of will to sort of create something beautiful, something that's gonna benefit, you know, other individuals. Um, you're wanting to create it. And but I feel that what, what's happening here is that you're not really in alignment um, with what is balanced, right? Justice is about the law of cause and effect, okay? Which truly aligns us with, for every action, there is a reaction, right? For every cause, there is an effect. And for every effect, there is a cause. And so I feel that ultimately, this month is really about you sort of understanding that you know, how you perceive your own actions, right? Because you're creating, you're, you're wanting to create something that is beautiful, that is balanced, and that is equal. Like, that's literally what I see here. But the magician is very resourceful, right? So I feel like ultimately what you're needing to really be aware of here is... Is it other individuals that are not in alignment with you or are you not in alignment with the willingness to align with other individuals and sort of balance out, you know, because sometimes if we have a specific idea, we don't want other individuals to change that idea. We don't want them to sort of put their two cents into it, right? And so I feel this is what's coming up here. Now, you're, what you're needing to avoid is, um, yeah, I feel like you're in the beginning stages here, Sagittarius, of creating something, like something that you're, um, that's gonna be sort of what you are here to do. But I feel like you're very committed to, it's like, you're so in love with this idea 
that you're sort of blocked off. Like you're very rigid. You're not being open <laughs> to what other possibilities there might be. Because I, I sort of feel like this initial, um, this initial step is really about you building upon that. You're needing to build upon it, right? I think this is why the Three of Pentacles is in reverse, right? Because it's, it's really about individuals coming together and working towards a common goal, something that is going to benefit the community, right? Um, and I feel that, you know, with the lovers here, the lovers is really about contracts. It's really about, and, and I'm going to say this, like I'm going to say this outright. I don't feel that you have a very clear idea of exactly what it is that you are wanting it to look like, to feel like, what you're wanting it to do or to bring forward. So I, I, I want you to avoid contracts, okay? I want you to avoid jumping into a contract or a partnership or a commitment that you are not prepared for. And you have now the star in reverse, right? This represents what you are embracing this month. So I feel, Sagittarius, that you're needing to, um, because you're you're not aligned to your star right now. You right, you've already got right here in this center. You've got the three of pentacles in reverse with the star in reverse, and that is a clear indicator for me to say stop, halt, halt, taking action right now because. You're, I, feel, I feel like you're still trying to find clarity. You're still trying to figure it out, and I don't feel like you have the exact idea of, of this thing. And, I, and, and again, it's, you've got like some fears. There, there's some resistance here. Um, you know, maybe there's, it's stress and it's anxiety. It's maybe you're trying to figure out how is this going to work? How is this going to happen? You know, what do I need to do? How do I do that? Like you're asking all of these questions. You're really in your head about it. Um, and I feel like you're needing to sort of take a step back and you're needing to wait until you'll know when the right time is. Like, I don't know why I keep saying that, but it's like, it's like spirit is telling you, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now this just, <laughs> this, this reminds me of, so you probably don't really care to know this, Sagittarius, but I'm going to tell you anyway because this is exactly what, what I'm hearing in my head, so I have to tell you. I love K-dramas, and right now I'm really hooked on this one K-drama on Netflix called Extraordinary Attorney Wu, Wu Young Wu, right? Um, and it's a story about an attorney who is autistic. She has uh, autism. And there is this amazing scene in there where... <laughs> You know, the head actress, actress's boss tells her to accompany another attorney and tells her, you know, whenever she gets a little out of hand or she gets eccentric or she wants to do something, I want you to tell her, whoa, 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 right? And that's what I keep hearing in my mind. I feel like, you know, it's what I keep hearing and I, I feel like spirit's really wanting you to sort of take a step back. Spirit is wanting you to sort of really look like be open be open to how things um are going to transpire for you okay let's let's finish getting the rest of these cards out so what is your support okay so you have the three of wands your action this month is going to be what what is what is sagittarius's action this month spirit the four of pentacles and what is their advice what is their advice? What is Sagittarius's advice? The moon in reverse. Okay. All right. So let me look at this as a whole here, Sagittarius. So your support is the three of wands, okay? Which is really about um, waiting for your ships to come in. <laughs> so spirit's really wanting you to wait. I don't feel that you have all of the things that you need right now in order to make this whole and balanced. This is why they're wanting you to sort of take a step back. I feel it has something to do with your sense of security and your foundation. Um, and you're not, I feel like you're still hiding behind. There's still a lot that has to be revealed to you. There's still something that's being hidden from you here with the moon. 
And I feel it has something to do with um, maybe it's a belief system, right? Maybe there's there's something here that you actually haven't quite pinpointed yet as to you know what you're actually needing to focus on. Um, I am going to clarify this moon in reverse. Why is this moon in reverse here for Sagittarius? Why is this moon here in reverse for Sagittarius? Whoa. I think it's the Nine of Pentacles, but let me look. Yep, Nine of Pentacles. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. So what this is telling me is that... I feel like you're you're sort of being this whatever it is that you're meant to create. I feel like you're hearing the signs, right? You're seeing the signs and you're wanting to push forward. You're wanting to to move forward. But what spirit is really wanting you to do is you need to slow down. You need to sort of It's interesting cuz I don't normally see this with the chariot. With the chariot it's it's just fast and it's quick. The chariot doesn't have any reins, right? And I feel that what this is saying is that you're needing to grab the reins and sort of whoa back. You're needing to sort of whoa back because you're not ready yet to move forward. I feel like you're still trying to align to your purpose. You're still trying to figure that out. Um, I, feel, I still feel that spirit is still hiding something from you here. Um, because I think the only thing that they're really wanting you to focus on right now is focus on being, um, you know, focus on understanding that um, what you're really grateful for, right? Looking at all of your blessings and really um, being happy with just with just where you are and with what you have um, and sort of truly focusing on your own independence, Okay, um, I, I feel this is your message here, Sagittarius. I know it might not be exactly what you wanted to hear, but this is your message and spirit does not want you to move forward at this point. I think there's still, there, there's still some more mowing, mowing, oh my God, there's still some growing that, that you're needing to do here. There's, st there's something here that you're still needing to learn. So let's, let's draw from the sacred creator's deck. What additional information and insight can you offer Sagittarius here, Spirit? What additional information and insight can you offer Sagittarius? What additional information and insight can you offer Sagittarius? Okay, so we have the edge of evolution feels messy. Okay. This is interesting because this card really represents that things will get messy before they get better, right? And when that happens, when things feel chaotic, when things feel like they're really rushing forward and you feel like you're not really doing anything, you're not accomplishing anything, that's just because you're at the precipice of a new journey. You're at the precipice of a new beginning. So let's read in the book what this actually um, says. Okay, the edge of evolution feels messy. The edge of change is a veritable cornucopia of opportunity. When you think of life as a giant ever expanding puzzle, you will see that growth begins at the edges and that most of the excitement happens just beyond the boundaries of what you can perceive and it happens just beyond the edges of your comfort zone. As things shift and germinate around you, you may notice how uncertain it feels beyond the known. It's time to bring yourself to your personal growth edge, to look into that abyss of creation. Here is what you're not recognizing here, Sagittarius. Poke your toe into the open space that lies beyond, and the right opportunity will, as if by magic, move into your awareness. This magical changing expanse is surging with the building blocks of all creation. This is where source energy is working on your behalf, bringing you the opportunities you have asked for. Everything and anything is possible during this time of rapid transformation, 
And as you stand at the precipice of your beautiful evolution, know that this energy is organic and malleable. Begin directing the landscapes of your reality that are coming into form. Okay, Sagittarius, I absolutely love this. Remember what I said was, you know, this three of pentacles is really about building something, right? And you're, you're sort of, I feel that what's transpiring here is that spirit is trying to balance things out. Spirit has heard your request for what it is you are desiring and what it is you're wanting to bring forward. But I still feel there's still something you're needing to learn, right? You're needing to be a little bit more comfortable with taking that, you know, massive leap of faith and trusting in your own independence to be successful and sort of allowing yourself to really feel grateful for where you are, even if you have not succeeded at what you are trying to accomplish. So um, this is your message, Sagittarius. Um, I want to thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you next time with your new message. Namaste, guys. Thank you.